Hi, I'm Brianna and welcome to my channel. Here's Rosie. You're purring, that's why. Before we begin, please smash that subscribe button and let's get into it. So today I'm going to be talking about how to use your lower vibration to your advantage. So you have your high vibration and your low vibration. When you're in a high vibration, you're feeling good, you're feeling happy, you might feel a little more motivated. And when you're in your low vibration, you may feel a bit anxious or unmotivated or just overall tired, kind of in a gloomy mood maybe. It's different for everyone. But everyone has these different vibrations and they can be used in different ways. So I'm kind of in a little bit of a lower vibration now and I want to talk about, because it feels right to do it now, I want to talk about how, how you can use your low vibration to your advantage. So when we're in a low vibration, this time is meant for us to learn and grow during this time because this is when we can enter our shadow, our shadow self. We can heal ourselves in this time if we're feeling a little more anxious because that's what you're more prone to do in a low vibration or depressed or anything like that. Since you're more prone to experience that in a low vibrational mood, I guess you could say, this is where you can if you're feeling anxious, recognize it and try to go a little bit deeper and figure out maybe why you might be feeling this way. And by the time you've done that, you're going to have grown. You're going to have transformed as a human being and maybe even healed some trauma you have. And yeah, I mean, really how you heal that and do shadow work so shadow work is when you really explore your emotions or your habits or your psyche and go deep into it and get to the root of why you may do something. And from there, you can sort of just get out of that habit or heal from that experience that makes you, yeah. So that's really shadow work. And how you do this is different for everyone but the basis is really recognizing and becoming aware of a certain emotion or a certain habit you may have like example of if you're feeling anxious i think i need to give a different example Ooh, i don't know what happened to my eye there let's say you keep on procrastinating why are you procrastinating Think about it to yourself, really. Or maybe you suffer with binge eating and you have to ask yourself, am I really hungry right now? Or am I bored? Am I hungry or... What is it? Because I just ate. Maybe we need to dive into this a little bit. Or if you're feeling insecure, you could be like, okay, I see that. Why is this happening? Or another approach you could take to this is not asking why, but simply accepting what is. And maybe even changing the tune of what you're feeling, right? So if you're feeling a little bit insecure about your body, you could be like, okay, I'm feeling a little bit insecure. Okay, that moment's over. I want to feel good about myself. And maybe just stand in the mirror and compliment yourself, you know? These are all things that can be done during a low vibrational time that can be, once you do this, you can grow and flower as a human being and heal and don't allow yourself to feel down because you've, you were in a high vibration and now you're in a low one. Use it to your advantage. You are a powerful being. You got this. You are going to slay the day away. All right, I hope this video is a little bit insightful for you. It definitely was for me and I needed to get this out. So, all right, like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Say bye, Rose.